Whitlow. Thank you. You're saying that this, this is all my wake up call, my personal warning. Threat on the second floor. Take care of it now. opinions, politics, or sexual orientation that we're opposed to or take issue with. So it's just those individuals that promote those agendas? Only the corrupt individuals. <laughs> Isn't that practically everyone with influence or power? Is it? Tell me about Paul Edwards. What about Paul Edwards? Well, if your organization is so competent, then why is he still alive? We tried to kill him? Somebody did. And isn't that exactly what your organization does? Assassinates corrupt individuals. Oh, is Mr. Edwards corrupt? Let me remind you of your current predicament here, Mr. O'Brien. Since you won't tell me about your operations, then what is your group's purpose? We specialize in motivating people to pursue the public good. <laughs> By instilling them with fear. <laughs> Can you think of anything more motivating? No. No. You have done that very well. the other pawns in your little game here, Mr. O'Brien. It's obvious they all have advanced training in covert operations. Well, unfortunately, because all of our ops are covert, I'm not at liberty to say. But we're not in this for any fame, fortune. Yes, I realize that. Even the media seems to be oblivious of you. However, I not only know of you, I apprehended you. Did you? Are you saying otherwise? For what possible purpose would you allow your For the same reason as Paul Edwards and Congressman Johnson. So you're saying that this, this is all my wake up call, my personal warning. Perhaps. We have a threat on the second floor. Take care of it. Now. And what exactly does that mean? 
We know what you're all about. The question is, are you scared enough yet to wake up? <laughs>